In this video, I will show you how you can zoom in and out in your timeline in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad, like in Premiere Pro. So if you ever worked in Premiere Pro, you notice it's different in Premiere Pro than in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad or for the desktop. So let me explain. If we are here in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad, number one, I get a couple of questions in my past videos. People are asking me, hey, Daniel, I can't zoom in into the timeline. How do you do this? So first of all, in DaVinci Resolve for this iPad, it only comes with two pages, the cut page, and the color page and the cut page you can't zoom even if I now use for example option key and the mouse wheel I can't zoom into the timeline that's on purpose because on the cut page you're not supposed to zoom in but you can activate the other pages like the edit page for example and on the edit page you will even find the slider here you can zoom in and out but if you have a mouse and you have a keyboard you can even use now the option key or alt key hold it down and then scroll down or up and now you notice something Everywhere where my playhead is, this is where I zoom in and zoom out. So, and if you, like me, and you come from Premiere Pro and you wanna use your mouse and the keyboard, you will notice that, wait a second, in Premiere Pro, I always zoom in and out where my mouse is. Wherever it is on the screen, it, I will zoom in and out. This makes it a little bit more faster if you use the mouse. I will give you in the end of the video a little bit explanation what I think about today, because I'm not using the mouse so often anymore. But let's fix this. It's very, very simple. So you have to go into the shortcuts menu, Option, Command and K. And now what we are searching for is here, it's called Zoom Around Mouse Pointer. You have to give this a shortcut and it's basically working like turning on or turning off. So I gave this the shortcut Option, and nine. So now it's on. How do I notice? If I now hit option, and let's say here's my mouse cursor, and I zoom now in, you see how I zoom into the mouse here and zoom out to the mouse here. If I don't like it anymore, I can activate it again, option nine, and now it's back to the original. So now my conclusion. I have to be honest because I edit most of the times with my pencil. I use my hand on my keyboard. All my shortcuts are on my left side. I also, for example, use the keyboard to navigate through my timeline and also to zoom fast completely out and be in, out, in. I do this all with my keyboard shortcuts. And I noticed that I don't need the setting that I showed you today because when you just use the core, the, the, the play hat for doing this, then it's totally fine that it's actually zooming in where the playhead is because most of the time I have a cut there and I want to see something there. So I zoom in, in or if I want to see the whole timeline, I go there. And because most of the time with my right hand, I'm already on the screen. It's basically my mouse. I don't have a problem because I can now go with the playhead here and zoom in there or go out again, go in here. So. I use it this way, but if you use the mouse and the keyboard and you wanna have it like Premiere Pro, this is the way how you can do this, like in this video today. I hope you liked this video, I hope you learned something. If yes, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding in the bang bang gong. Oh yeah, and the keyboard shortcuts, all of my presets, the keyboard shortcuts are also part of the masterclass, but you already know that. So, we see us in the next video. I'm Daniel, bye.